I will be doing a quick tank review for the German tier 4 heavy tank, the Dirk Block Wagon Tor, which uh, literally translates from German to English, uh, breakthrough wagon or tank. This vehicle for a tier 4 heavy tank, it is not that bad nor, nor good. You have relatively uh, decent armor at this tier, and the choice of gun that you have, it's not that bad nor good. But the one thing that makes this vehicle somewhat good is the matchmaking. This vehicle have uh, preferred matchmaking between tier 4 to tier 5, so, so that is quite important because if this vehicle did see tier 6, it wouldn't be that good at all. So tier 4 to tier 5, well, it can do well enough, for, well enough still. This vehicle, it is a uh, early heavy tank, so you can play this well enough and use the same tactics that you learn in the in the DW2 here. Use it on the 3001, the VK36, and the Tiger one as well. As a lot of these vehicles are roughly the same in in the way how they perform. Let's get into the vehicle stats. The vehicle stats. When the machine is fully upgraded, it is not that bad, nor good. From now on, I will just call this vehicle the DW2, just to shorten the name of it, from Duckbrook Wagon To. The vehicle hit points, you have a decent amount of hit points, 440 hit points. That is roughly the same amount of hit points that you would have on the Type 95 and the B1 heavy tank. As a heavy tank, the vehicle it is uh, slow, so you will not have a good horsepower to turn ratio with this tank, even with the top engine. As a heavy tank, you will have a bad camera rating due to the size of the vehicle and it being a heavy tank. The top engine, this engine will give you the best horsepower to ton out of this tank. The 300 horsepower engine will have a 20% chance of engine fire. Be careful about that. Also, this engine, it is used on other vehicles as well. The horsepower to ton ratio for this machine, it is 10 horsepower to 1 ton. That means you can somewhat at the time reach the top uh, speed of 35 uh, kilometers when you're on uh, flat terrain going in a, in a straight line or going downhill only. Besides that, you may or may not have a problem with certain type of rough terrain and climbing steep hills. This vehicle, it is not that great at uh, climbing hills. So when you are going to be climbing steep hills, you will lose a bit of uh, speed in the process. The vehicle hold reverse, it is uh, okay at 32 degrees. But the turret traverse is good at 42. The armor, it is good and it is bad. This is a box tank. So most of the armor, it is going to be uh, be flat uh, pieces of, uh, of armor. That means people can penetrate you easily enough if their gun can over, over penetrate the armor. But the good thing about the armor and it being quite boxy is that if you just angle the armor correctly whether it be the front the side uh, with the correct angle you can actually ricochet some lower tails uh, low low penning gun when they're trying to penetrate you but most guns up to t5 can penetrate you easily enough so be careful about that. 
the armor it is not that thick so a well placed shot from the side rear and front and then especially the turret here as well if the gun can over penetrate the armor value there is a chance for the crew member to be injured and the module to be, to be damaged as well. The gun I am using, I am using the 5cm L60 gun. This gun is pretty good when you are going to be playing more of a distance support vehicle. The pen and the damage output it is not that, not that great, but with the accuracy and the aiming time. Most of the time if you fully aim in, you can actually penetrate uh, tanks at a distance while playing this as a somewhat of a medium distance uh, sniper. As in the one replay, I will show you the uh, rate of fire and how well you can do in this tank if you are actually going to be playing this as a bit of a uh, bit of a uh, s sniper. Also, another thing that I f forgot to mention: the gun depression. It is quite good. Eight degrees downward, twenty degrees up. So you can sort of hill fight with this if you must. Also, due to the uh, weight of the uh, vehicle, you can actually have uh, have ram kills just from people trying to ra trying to ram kill you now if uh, someone is going to ram kill you there is a chance that they may kill you in the process if they have more hit points than uh, than you so be careful about that the uh, the view range it is not that good 330 meters when you add in coded optics binocular tele tele telescopes and have a good crew on top of it as well you can potentially easily reach the maximum view range in game with this tank you have a very good radio up to 710 meters let's cover the research part now the research for the vehicle. It's an easy tank to go through. I would recommend that you research all of the equipment on the vehicle as it is going to be used on other vehicles within the German tech tree as well. If you went through the German medium line then you will have the guns unlocked on this already the top radio the the top engine you would have this unlocked already if you went through the uh, German meal the VK 2001 D besides besides those pieces of equipment and and the radios that lead up to the top radio you will have to research everything else on this vehicle to begin off with the tracks you will be need you will be needing the second pair of tracks to mount everything this second pair have a better hold traver hold traverse from 30 to 32 engines The first engine, it is not that good. 250 horsepower. The second engine upgrade, you get an extra 15 horsepower. You are going to be a slow heavy still using both of these en engines. All of the engines here have a 20% chance of engine fire. Now, the uh, last engine, this is where it gets to be good. You have a you have a 300 horsepower engine. That means, with the horsepower to ton ratio, you will have 10 horsepower to one ton. That means this vehicle with with the top engine, 
it is not a fast heavy nor a nor a slow heavy using the first two engines this vehicle would be slow the radios you you would research them on the appropriate vehicles that would lead up to up to the DW2 if you just came from the tier 1 and straight to the DW2 then you will have to research the radios you will begin off with the FUG5 radio the FUG7 radio it is used on a lot of vehicles here so you so you will be able to be able to use this on on a lot of vehicles within that uh, a tech tree once you have researched this uh, radio the FUG12 radio it is usable on a lot of uh, middle to high tier vehicles so uh, uh, so you will have to research this radio if you have not unlocked it already the turrets they have uh, the same uh, uh, stats when it comes to armor turret traverse and a uh, view range I would recommend that you that you get the top turret just for the increase in the hit points that you will be getting and the slightly better gun handling stats for either of the two guns that you are going to be using you have a choice of two guns that you are going to be using to get the necessary experience points to move on to the tier 5 tank in the lineup the L60 gun it's a faster firing rate of gun with uh, a decent pen and damage output per a shot and the gun it is not that bad if you fully aim with the gun when you are trying to play this as a bit of a uh, uh, um, as a medium to a short distance sniper with accuracy 0.39 aiming time point uh, 2.2 so this gun it is generally okay when it comes to all, all of the areas it is not that great nor bad but this gun the 7.5 L24 gun it's a howitzer at this TL the rate of fire it is okay about 15 rounds per a minute the pen it is not that good so you will have a problem penning uh, certain vehicles up to tier 5 with this gun the damage output if you can land your shot onto the enemy tank and, and penetrate it easily enough you can do a good amount of damage damage with this gun this gun if you are going to be using it I would recommend using uh, HE rounds because we remember HE if if it hits something it's going to be doing a bit of damage still the accuracy is terrible 0.55 aiming time 2.3 seconds so the aiming time it is not not that good nor nor bad but with the accuracy you will have a hard time getting precise uh, shots unlike the L60 that you that you can do when you fully aim with this gun now to get the uh, VK 3001H you will need to get about under half a million credits and uh, just under 14,000 research uh, uh, points to move on to it I will be covering the consumables the, the ammo layout the uh, equipment setup and the way how you are going to be using the machine. Let's uh, begin off with the consumables. Consumables, I would go with a, a first aid kit, a repair kit, 
and a fire ex extinguisher. It is up to you if you want to use consumables as this tier or not. This vehicle carries a lot of ammo. If you are going to be using the 5 centimeter gun on this tank, it holds 120 rounds of uh, ammo. So most of the time you are not going to be running out of ammo in this uh, tank. The main ammo type you're going to be using it is AP APCR. AP you can penetrate most targets easily enough if you know where to shoot at. But I will save the APCR for the heavily armored targets that you are going to be facing up against from uh, tier 4 to, uh, to tier 5 that have uh, thick armor, especially if they're angling it. A PCR will cost you 5 gold or 2,000 credits. HE, it is uh, still a useful ammo type to, to use against the semi armor targets that you are going to be facing up, uh, up against, especially the lower tier vehicles that you are going to be facing off against. The equipment, you can go with fence to improve the, the crew by 5%, uh, toolbox to get your repairs done faster, the enhanced gun lane drive to de to de to decrease a already good aiming aiming time coded optics or binocular te 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 telescope to suit your play style the uh, medium caliber tank gun rammer to decrease the uh, loading time now as a uh, tier 4 tank, the matchmaking, the matchmaking for this vehicle will be from tier 4 to tier 5. So if you play to the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses, you can do quite well in this, in this vehicle. Now, how are you going to be playing the DW2? This vehicle, you can play it as a front line vehicle if you know what you are doing. This vehicle, if you're using the uh, top gun, the L6D gun, you can be somewhat of a uh, medium to a short distance uh, sniper if you fully aim onto your targets. Also, determine what is, uh, what is going on at the time. You can be a bit of a flanking and even a, a support vehicle as well. I have one replay to show you how well you can do in the DW tool. Let's go to that replay now. This uh, replay, I will show you how well you can do in the DW tool if you are going to be taking advantage of the uh, very good rate of fire that the DW2 have with the L60 gun. Let's speed the re replay up a bit. I am heading to the city here to take advantage of the buildings and the terrain here to offer me extra protection. I am heading to the E1 area to get some early shots at anything that is in the one line. I switched to APCR to make sure my rounds are going to be penetrating. Both of those uh, vehicles took half of my hit points off. Just by the rate of fire alone, I am 
reducing both of these vehicle hit points down to potentially being one shot by the artillery. Right now, I am not in that good of a situation right now. The uh, SU-85B and the Martyr 38T, both of them reduced uh, my hit points down to 46 hit points. That artillery could have had easily uh, killed me. Fortunately, the M3 Lee only tracked me if he aimed at the uh, front armor of the DW. He would have had killed me. I switched to a PTR to make sure I am going to be pinning the AMX there. The first round ricocheted. I am using the building here to cover me. That Luch there. I am trying to lead uh, my shots on the uh, Luch there. I got my first shot uh, off, but that uh, Luch finished me off. This replay I did uh, well enough in. For the three kills, that I got, I did about uh, 750 damage. That is not too bad for a low damage per a shotgun. Let's go to the garage now. Let's uh, do a brief recap on the DW2. As a uh, tier 4 heavy tank, it is not that good nor bad for a heavy tank at this tier. Remember, this vehicle have preferred matchmaking from tier 4 to 5. So you will never see tier 6 tanks in this tank. This vehicle, it's a good training vehicle to learn how to angle flat pieces of, uh, of armor effectively because you will be using this uh, tactic at the tier 5, 6, and even the tier 7 Tiger one when you get to it. Also, the DW2 plays roughly the same as the VK at tier 5 and 6 area, but with minor changes to it. This vehicle have a lot of the same weak uh, spots as the rest of the vehicle such as the machine port, driver port, lower plate, and etc. The DW2 overall, it's average. It is, it is not that great, nor bad, but once you get used to the vehicle's strengths, weak, weaknesses, and know what you are doing, you can do quite well in this uh, tank. This tank, if you are at the wrong place at the wrong time without backup or you're going up against a enemy tank that can over penetrate your armor and have a fast firing gun you can be killed easily enough be careful about that i hope that you learn a thing or tool about the dw2 and how to use it properly if you like this video leave a like a comment and even follow my channel as well. Good luck on the battlefield, everyone.